Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies. In today's session, I am going to explain about packages. Okay. So, what is package and how to create package? What is the importance of creating packages? A package is a collection of procedures, functions, variables, types, cursors, etcetera. So, a package is a collection of procedures, functions, variables, cursors, types. So, the related procedures and functions are grouped into a single unit called package. Okay. What are grouped into single unit is related procedures and functions are grouped into single unit. That single unit is called package. For example, suppose the, there is a like banking application in that there is a loans module. There are different modules in banking application. One module is there loans module. Uh, procedures functions related to loans into uh, one package and procedures functions related to accounts module grouped into one package. Okay. So, uh, the main purpose of creating package is a grouping of procedures, functions, variables, cursors into one unit. But what are the advantages? What are the benefits of creating package? One advantage is easy to manage. How it is easy to manage? Because uh, related procedures and functions are available in a single package. So, managing is easy. Uh, if you want to make any changes, you do not need to go to number of projects and functions, just go to one package. So, all the projects and functions are available in one package, just go to that package and make the changes. So, managing is easy. And second one, like package supports overloading, okay. package supports overloading. So, inside the package, you can define two or more procedures or functions with same name with different parameters. So, that is why the package supports overloading and package supports hiding. So, in package like without packages for example, by default the procedures and functions you create by default they are public. So, if you create a procedure and function by default that procedures and functions are public that means, they can be accessed from anywhere. So, but inside the package okay we can make some procedures and functions as public, some procedures and functions as private, some of them are we can make some procedures and functions as public, some procedures and functions as private. So, public members can be accessed from anywhere, but private members can be accessed within the package. So, this siding is possible with the help of packages. Next, another main purpose of creating packages, package improves performance. So, because the first time you call a procedure inside a package and the whole package is loaded into memory. So, when you when you call a member inside a package, the whole package is loaded into memory and next time you call another member. So, the control uh, the request will not go to database because already the procedures and functions are available in memory, the request will not go to database. So, number of requests going to database are reduced and the performance improves. So, package improves what performance. So, these are the main benefits of creating packages. One is easy to manage and the second one supports overloading and third one supports hiding and fourth one improves performance. So, like let us see how to create a package. So, package consists of two parts, one is package specification and package body. A package consists of two parts, package specification, package body. What is package specification contains? A package specification contains declarations, declarations of procedures and functions. So, the specification includes only declarations declaration of procedure, declaration of function, declaration of variable, declaration of cursor, declaration of type, declaration of exception. What body contains? Body contains definition, procedure definition, 
function definition that so specification contains only declarations and body contains definition so we will we'll see one example so first we will create the package specification next we will create the package body so here i am creating a package the package is hr package so how to create package create or replace package package name so what is the package name is hr so i am just taking some name hr as that so this package consists of two members one is higher another one file so this package contains two procedures one procedure is hired one procedure is fired so in this package i am implementing hiring and firing i am declaring two procedures one procedure is used for hiring one procedure is used for firing so i want to call this hire procedure so whenever employee uh, recruited when employee recruited so I'll, i want to call this hire procedure and i want to call this fire procedure whenever employee resigns when employee resigns i want to call this fire procedure when employee joins i want to call this procedure and and this procedure is declared with some parameters so one parameter for employee number one parameter is for name one parameter is for job one parameter for salary one parameter for department number because when employee joins we have to insert that employees details into database table but what details should be inserted into database table is number is name job salary and department number like this next and another procedure file procedure so i want to call this file procedure and whenever employee resigns so when employee resigns i want to delete that employee details for deleting the employee details i need employee number so that employee number is passed to this parameter okay that so this is package specification and what is this package specification contains this contains only declarations of procedures and what is the declaration includes procedure procedure name parameters if it is a function 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 name parameters return type but in our example there is no function both are procedures only in case if function is there then function should be declared like this function function name parameters return type so first i'll create this package specification so first i am creating package specification now i written this code here so copy this code and paste it here so package created so what is created is a package specification is created now let's create the package body then so and this is the package body so what is that package body consists the package body contains procedures definition and function definitions okay specification contains declaration but body contains definition so here there is a package body this contains definitions like we declare two procedures one is hire and fire and here in this package body i am defining the hire and fire and the first one is hire hire procedure then procedure procedure name and this procedure is declared with these parameters one parameter is e one parameter for name one is for job one is for salary one is for department number so this parameters receive the values and whatever the values this parameters receives i want to insert these values into database table okay that so because this hire means when we call this procedure we'll call this procedure when employee joins when employee joins i want to insert the employee details into database table so what i am doing is i am inserting these values into database table insert into emp so in brackets specify the column names into which columns you want to insert the values specify the column names 
into which columns you want to insert the values specify the column names. So, whenever you want to insert values into specific columns follow this syntax. So, table name in brackets table name in brackets specify the column names. So, I am inserting the values into only into EMBNO, E name, job, salary, department number. For remaining fields I am not inserting the values. So, what, where is the value for employee number? The value for employee number is E. So, E is the parameter. So, what is this parameter? E receives employee number. Then the parameter N value is inserted into E name. The parameter J value inserted into job and the parameter S value inserted into salary and the parameter D value inserted into department number. So, what about the remaining fields? The remaining fields are automatically filled with null values. The remaining fields like uh, manager number, high commission, the remaining fields are automatically filled with null values. Okay. Then next after inserting the record, so the commit executing the commit, so then insert becomes permanent, the insert operation made permanent. Next this procedure is completed, then say and hire process and hire. So, only because this procedure is completed, but the total package is not completed, only this procedure is completed, say and hire. Next, so hire procedure definition is completed, let us define fire. So, procedure fire E number. So, when we call this procedure, we will call this procedure. So, whenever I want to delete the employee data. So, when this procedure is called, I want to delete this. So, delete from EMP where employee number equals to E. So, whatever employee number is passed to E, that particular employee record is deleted and the operation is committed. Now, so and this procedure is completed, say and fire. So, here I am defining two procedures, hire, hire procedure is inserting the data into database table and the fire procedure is deleting the data from table. So, let us create this package body. So, package body is also created. Now, both are ready, specification is ready and body is also ready. Let us execute. Okay. Let us execute the members and one thing is the whole package cannot be executed. Executing the whole package means meaningless like executing both higher and fire at a time. Whole package cannot be executed, only the members of the package can be executed. Like for example, I want to execute this higher procedure and how the package members are accessed. The package members are accessed with package name, package name dot member. Now, let us see this, I want to execute this higher procedure, then execute. So, what is the package name is HR dot. So, package name dot member HR dot what is the procedure name hire, but this procedure is declared with some parameters. The first parameter is E pass the value for E. So, what should be passed to E employee number? So, here employee number something next one. What is the second parameter name? Second parameter name suppose some name like something next and the third parameter job. So, job is something and fourth parameter salary. Next, fifth parameter department number 20. So, this value 555 is passed to E next and value A is passed to N and value clerk passed to J and this value 5000 is passed to S and value 20 is passed to D next and this command is executed, procedure is executed procedure is executed means this insert command is executed. What this insert command is doing? Inserting this parameter values into database table. After inserting the operation is committed. Let us see this. So, PLSQL procedure successfully completed means the row is inserted into table. Let us go and see the table. Select star from EMP. So, let us see this. The record is inserted into EMP table. Now, you can see this record. So, what about the remaining fields like manager number is filled with null values, hydrate is filled with null values, next commission is filled with null values, 
and the remaining fields are filled with null values. Suppose I want to execute this file procedure. To execute the file procedure, execute hr dot file. Hr dot file. So just pass the employee number. So the employee number is five five five. So this five 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 is passed to this e. A value this that value is passed to this e, and procedure is executed. What this procedure is doing? It is deleting the record from EMP table. So the employee whose employee number equals to five five five. That employee record is deleted, and after that, commit is executed. Then now let's see this PLS skill procedure successfully completed, and see the table selects are from EMP where employee number equals to this. Now let's see selects are from from EMP where employee number equals to this. Now let's see this no row selected means record is deleted. So this is like. how to create a package and how to execute the members of the package and thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to narayshaiti